and welcome to Tech Tuesday. Today we're gonna do some. Today we're gonna do some Fusion 360. I have never used a program till today, but what we're gonna make is a shelf because we have a camera closet. Look at that. Look at all that room. And there's a lot of room that's not being used. You can always just like go to the store and buy one of those little stands, but why not make our own? We have a 3D printer. We have Fusion 360. Why not use it to kind of help organize our space a little bit? So today we're going to be printing some shelves that we designed in Fusion 360. And so today we're just going to make a simple, simple table that just raises off the ground and just sits there. So we had to put some stuff underneath it, be able to put some stuff above it. So um, if you have any better, if you have a better idea than mine, please let me know down in the comments because you know I'm all about that optimizing the space sometimes. Okay, so first thing we're gonna need to do is set up our document. So right now you can see we have it in uh, millimeters, but we're gonna change it to inches over here. Now, after you're done, you might want to change it back to millimeter because that's what Cura reads in. So now that our document's set up, let's make a sketch. So you go over to the Create Sketch, choose the plane you want. We want this bottom plane. Just click it and it'll set it up for you. And let's make a two-point rectangle. Um, we're going to make it six by six. So you can click right here. You top in six and then press Tab to go up. Press six again. And there you go. we got a sketch of, well, the table. So now we're going to extrude it. To extrude it, you just press Q. But let's let's uh, press, press shift and then the middle mouse wheel to move down a little bit. Okay, once you finish the sketch, just go over to extrude. And we're going to extrude it to 10 or 20. Let's do 10 for now. And now that you have that, just press enter. And there you go. There's a, a bit of our box. So now we're going to add some legs to it. So that's pretty simple. Let's just click, click up here. Let's go to the top and let's go back and create another sketch. So you see we have two sketches here. That sketch is turned off. We don't need that one. We only need sketch two. So we're going to go over here in the corner. Let's do 0.6. Yeah, there we go. I like that better. So now we got 0.6. We're going to do 0.3 inside because, you know, that's half of it. So 0 0.3, 0 0.3, and we're going to make three of these boxes. Point, point 0.3, and you can type it in or you can just find the measurements yourself. It's up to you. And we're going to make one last box. It kind of snaps, so there we go. Now we got out, now we get this sectioned off. And we can finish the sketch. So we're going to just extrude these three boxes out here. I already had the measurements wrote down. It's five and well, seven, eight of the next one. Let's just type that in, press center. You can pat that however you want. If you make it, want to make it six, that's fine. If you don't want to make your two, it'll still fit it. This next step, we're going to mirror. We're going to mirror these legs on each side. But you can see right here, we still have this bottom connected. So we have to actually split that up because you can't actually mirror. The way we're going to have our the way we're going to have our plane set up, you won't be able to mirror these points down here, and you're just going to get some errors. So first we need to split this up. So to split that up, we're going to create a sketch. And so move down there. So create a line from there to the end, make it straight. should be 0.6 if that's how long you made it. And then we're going to do the same thing for the other side. And then click, so just click that face. Now you say click create sketch. And we'll just. And there we go. We got the sketch on each of those sides. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to click these two. We're going to go over to split face. If, if you didn't open up, just click that. So it will open. Faces to split. Select that splitting tool. Make sure you hit that line. It'll highlight just barely, so make sure you click it. You want to split it along the vector uh, direction. Don't, don't worry about that. And hit OK. And now the two are split up. So now we just need to do the same for this side. So now we're good to go. 
So now we can mirror this on the axis. So we want to offset the plane, so hit offset plane. You might need to change your angle a little bit. Or you have to just click from here. If you can do that, see how far you are from the side. We're two inches from it, so we just need to move down one inch. And so now we're in the center with that plane. You know, not all your planes will be there, just this one does. So we got this plane here. If you have a bunch of random planes, feel free to delete those if you're not gonna be using them. Um, we're just actually just about done. So now that we have that, we are going to go to select, have a selection filter where you make sure you select through and you'll have an easier time selecting this table. But go to create, go to mirror over here. So select your faces, which is those three and mirror okay. your plane. Yeah. So select mirror plane, oh. which is that plane. It's and there you go. Crap. It's the look. It's... <laughs> and there you go. So now you can see that it's mirrored there. So now we just need to mirror it on the other side. Make sure you hit cancel if you misclick like that. So let's offset another plane. Offset the plane if you have issues, it's fine. Um, go to the top. Oh, hit top. Scroll down, just move down using the mouse wheel, and we're going to see how far we are from there. We are two inches from, well, I mean, this plane is two inches from the edge, so we're just going to move one inch in. We're going to hit OK. Now, we're going to mirror. So, just, just get a better angle. Go to create, go to mirror. Go, select the faces and you select your plane, which would be the this plane right here. And that is a classic blunder right there. We just have to fix it because it didn't apply. So I'll just go back up to the top. Okay. These are instructions I could have used earlier. Oh shoot. So we're two inches that way. So we just have to Move this one inch. And there we go. Now that it's fixed for good now, let's back to create. Let's go to mirror. Let's select these faces. Select the mirror plane, which is that plane right there. Hit OK. There we go. It's applied. It's ready to go. That is our table. It doesn't matter. And it's not bad. So now we're just going to take it over to Cura. To take it over to Cura, pretty simple. Save it and then 3D print. And say you want to send it to the 3D print utility. If you don't have a download on this computer, then obviously it won't let you send it. Uh, make sure you select your mesh and then hit OK. And you're good. It's going to open up Cura. Make this changes you want, which you shouldn't really need any changes. You might need to flip the table because you do want the table bit. You don't want the legs. You want the table to actually get the part that's uh, going to be laying against your bed on your 3D printer, just like this. So this is right. You don't want to change your infill, lower it some. Obviously, the more infill, the longer it's going to take to print. Make sure you have the right configurations. Slice it. This one's going to take approximately 12 hours and now we just let the build plate heat up and we'll be good to go in 16 hours so tomorrow so see you tomorrow see how it is Woo. and there it is in all its splendor look at that camera fits underneath it we put the gh5 on top and there we go Kind of made the edges a little too. It needs to go out just a little bit more. Now, now, now the bed does print wider, but that's just my mistake there. That's okay because we can still put the G5s on top and put the XAs on the bottom. Hopefully, we can get this whole shelf lined out with them. And I might actually do some tweaking, that way the juice files will fit on the bottom. There's some tweaks I'd like to make to it, like maybe add like a little divot, that way if I laid like maybe a ball or something in it, it'd stay and it wouldn't fall out. And maybe just make this top, you can see it's kind of thin, maybe just make that a bit thicker. But hey, it works and now I know a little bit of how Fusion works. So that's it for Tech Tuesday today. If you liked what you saw, you know what to do. 
and uh, be on the lookout for more Fusion 360 tutorials as I learn and some more VR stuff coming up soon. So I'm Adrian and we'll holler at you later. Hey, you, you're finally awake.